Et salut, c'est Marie de Just Friendship. Comment ça va Moi, ça va super. And uh, today, in this episode, we are going to talk about French learning podcast. Hey, you are listening to a French learning podcast. And I'm going to talk about French learning podcast. Who? Uh, what's that movie again? Inception, right? <laughs> well, no, it's not going to be like that. What I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to give you in this podcast episode is that we are going to talk about the podcast that you should listen to according to your level. Because there are a lot of French podcasts and French podcasts, but especially French learning podcasts out there. Some of them are conversational. Some of them are lessons. Some of them are just people talking in French. Some of them are almost exclusively in English, like mine. And I'm going to tell you why just in a moment. So others are just in French, others are slow French, others are fast French. So which one should you listen to because you don't have the time to listen to all of those different podcasts, right? I certainly don't. So I'm imagining that you don't either because you are learning French actively, right? By the way, if you are learning French actively and that you want to take your French to the next level with, uh, you know, techniques and tips and tricks and lessons that actually are going to uh, the core of the message that you want to learn, um, you know, modern, normal French rather than textbooks French, then you should sign up for the private emails. What happened on Just French is that on Mondays, I'm releasing this, the podcast episode, what you are listening to right now. Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm sending emails with tricks to learn, with lessons, with links to other videos, you know, uh, things like this. And on Fridays, I'm releasing a video where we are learning vocabulary or situations or sentences in French, right? So if you, if you only actually follow me on YouTube, then you are missing like half of what I'm doing, like more than half of what actually is happening on Just French it. So the link for the private emails is in the description below the video. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five podcasts that I want to talk about today. The first one is for beginners. So if you are a beginner, open up your ears. This is the podcast that you should listen to. It's Coffee Break French. Coffee Break French is um, actually it's a company Uh, I believe they offer courses and things like that as well. But the Coffee Break French podcast is entirely free. You don't have to sign up for anything. It's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, and it works like classes. And that's why I really, really enjoy it about this podcast is that um, there's Mark. Mark is a French teacher, okay? And Mark is teaching Anna French, right? And Anna is a beginner. Right, she, she has learned many languages before, but she is learning French and Mark is helping her to learn French. So he's teaching her, you know, from the very beginning. They start with simple conversation. And that's what I really like also about this podcast is that it's very to the point. It's very, you know, you don't talk about grammar so much that you get lost. You just, you know, start speaking. And that, that's really, really, really good. So uh, Mark and Anna, it's Coffee Break French and it's on iTunes and Spotify. The link to all the podcasts will be in the description below or in the description of the podcast if you are listening to this on iTunes. Okay, so Coffee Break French if you are a beginner. If you are more advanced uh, or if you are an intermediate, then you can try the podcast We Podcast. We podcast is is very interesting because it works like a lot of you know the early podcasts were a lot of conversation and if you listen to business podcasts for example like half of them are conversations with entrepreneurs or people who have businesses or people who work in certain businesses and we podcast is just that right it's conversations between two people you have Janet and Léon, and Léon is asking a lot of questions to Janet, who's replying in French. So two people around topics that are very broad sometimes, such as what makes you happy or the spring. You know, conversations that you could have with your friends are what is happening on We Podcast. 
So if you are a beginner, it's best to avoid it because you're not going to understand much of what is being said. But if you are an advanced or, you know, intermediate learners can try it as well. This is definitely the podcast that you should listen to because they don't go slowly. So you actually learn modern, fast French, rapid fire French, as someone said in one of the service that I sent recently. And that made me laugh a lot. Rapid fire French. Yes. But so it's it's not slow. It's rather fast, but they articulate quite correctly so that you understand what they mean. So we podcast is available on Spotify and on iTunes as well. Not sure it's available on YouTube. Actually, I didn't check. But if it is, you can uh, leave the link in the disc in the comments if you are on YouTube, actually. Next podcast is news in slow French. Okay, I'm not a super fan of slow French or slow language, slow lang slow speed of speaking, sp speak of, no, speed of speech. Can you say that? Well, I'm, I'm not a fan of like slow French, slow Swedish, slow German, slow things. Okay, it's good to understand and hear all the sounds at the beginning, but you should really move away from that very quickly. Because if you do, if you stay there, you are going to not become spontaneous. Uh, your pronunciation is not going to improve after a while and you will have trouble actually understanding what French natives speak like when they speak in normal environments, right? So move away from those slow things very quickly. But if you need to go there, go with News in Slow French. It's available on Spotify and iTunes. What is interesting about this one, actually, and this is why I put it in the list, is that the topics that they cover, and I believe there's two people speaking about the topics, like, you know, broad news topic, uh, is that it's often quite uh, reflective of what French people hear when they turn on the news on TV. So it's, you know, it gives you that extra cultural aspect to it. Which is what we podcast is doing as well, because within conversations, you hear what people think, how people speak, what sounds they make when they are thinking, what are the feeling sounds. That's what we call feeling sounds. And, um, you know, what kind of opinions they have, what kind of subjects are taboo, not talked about, what subjects actually come back pretty regularly, how people debate and all of those things. This is good in conversation and in using slow fresh, you get a bit of that as well. Another podcast that is really interesting, especially for intermediate learners, it is Learn French Today with Romeo. Learn French Today with Romeo. And I believe this is quite a recent podcast because uh, last year I didn't, I didn't actually found it when I first started to look at French podcast. And, uh, but I really like Romeo's approach because it's simple. And simplicity in language learning is kind of over overrating, you know. You hear all about those grammar rules that are complex, how French is complex and how learning languages is difficult and hard and everything. But Romeo is, you know, going straight to the point. It's simple, it's nice, it's, it's slow, but it's articulated and not slow like like not natural it is slow but in a natural way and yet it goes into details as well about alternatives vocabulary that you can use and you know in a lot of ways uh, this podcast is very similar to my vendredi vocabulary videos and this is uh, so, so this is something you should check out and it's available on spotify and on itunes as well and i believe it's a uh, you know, available on a range of different platforms if those are not the platforms that you use. Mention those ones because it's the one I, I use. And I don't know a lot about all the other ones. But anyway, so learn French today with Romeo. If you are an intermediate learner, definitely something you should check out. And then the final one, <laughs> it's a little bit of self-promotion and it is the Just Friendship podcast. Why should you listen to the Just Friendship podcast because on Just French It, I'm not just, you know, giving you lessons and leaving you with the knowledge of French. What I'm doing is that I'm telling you how you should learn. You know, I'm motivating you to keep learning. I'm giving you techniques to improve your French that do not necessarily, you know, involve grammar or vocabulary, just general things that you should implement 
to make your experience of learning French easier. You know, taking your French to the next level, it's that. It's not just about learning vocabulary and grammar. It's also about mindset. It's also about techniques. It's also about all of that. So that's what the podcast is all about. Is You know, it's getting directly in your ears that learning should be simple, that learning should be a certain way, that maybe you should try this technique if you are not succeeding at learning French, right? So if you are, you know, any level, beginner, intermediate or advanced, that you are struggling with learning French, then the Just French It podcast is definitely for you. I'm also often answering your questions. So if you have questions, actually, send me an email. My email is uh, in the description of the podcast, or you can just simply comment if you are on YouTube. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to Just French It. Give me a like for good karma. Send me a review on iTunes if you enjoyed this podcast. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.